Okay. Um. Uh. Well, Sir Earlywood and Miss Lynn could be a cute pair, Florina said. You're saying that because you could be another good couple with Hector, Sarah protested, whispering. Th that's, th that's not true, Florina whispered, blushing more. Sarah, stop it, Irk demanded, whispering. Fine, sorry, Florina, Sarah whispered. Thanks, it means so much for me, Florina whispered, smiling. What about oh, what the fuck was Guy's voice? I've already bloody forgotten. He doesn't say anything. Um. Um. What about sane? Or something like that. Whatever. What about sane? <laughs> <laughs> fuck these characters. Guy asked, whispering. Sane can kiss my arm. Sarah was interrupted. Look, they're going to kiss. Florina whispered, alerting the group. Even Irk was surprised, and he decided to look at the couple. Um. Ha! What did I told you before? Sarah asked, whispering triumphantly. Shut up! Irk whispered, annoyed. Wait, oh fuck, this. Irk and Guy and Sarah and Florina, it's just. Oh, kill me now, alright. Shut up! Irk whispered, annoyed. Um. Lynn was now ready to kiss Hector's lips. Sarah was getting desperate for watching them approaching slowly to the other. Florina was also a little desperate. Guy's eyes... <laughs> That's a song by Animal Collective. Guy's eyes widened a little, and Irk couldn't resist, but he looked at the scene. As the lips of the other were almost closing in the other mouth, they closed their eyes to feel the kiss. Um... Um, until... Um. Hmm. Hector, why are you suddenly sm why are you smelling suddenly like a stinky boot? Lynn asked while her eyes were still closed. When she opened her eyes, she gasped after her eyes met face to face to Fox's missing boot. She looked around for Hector, and he was unconscious on the grass with a boot's mark on his face. And comically, there was smoke coming from the print. How fucking hard did they hit him? I think he's more than unconscious if he's got fucking smoke rising from his face. It sounds like he's been the fucking wicked witch of the West doused him in warts. A little, uh, little Wizard of Oz reference out there for all you, um, all you, uh, uh L. Frank Baum fans. Uh, um... No way! This is just stupid! Sarah said, standing up with clenched fists. She couldn't believe that she missed the romantic scene by a boot. <laughs> or as Roy might say, a boot missed it! Because <laughs> he's Canadian, except he isn't. He's just sort of like... I mean, I don't... I, I'm pretty sure I've heard Canadian people speak. Uh, that... that, that the, a, a dose of Buckley, whatever. I used to watch his videos a lot when I, um... Then I realized he's just a douchebag uh, and sort of gave up on him. But he, he was Canadian, wasn't he? So, I don't know. I, I don't need to need to perform this hideously stereotyped accent. <laughs> I could just impersonate him, but I don't want to. Um... Huh? Who's there? <laughs> Lynn asked, <laughs> looking at the hiding group. Guy stood up. Oh fuck, what, what, what is his voice? Guy, ah oh, shit. Great going, Sarah. I'd, ima I'd imagine she was going to ruin our hiding spot, Irk said, standing up. S -s Sorry, Miss Lynn, Florina said, blushing a little and standing up. I don't care if you're watching, but... Lynn looked at the boot. The too big for your boot. Um, where did this came from? Um, what the? Roy, what was that for? Chris asked, running towards Lynn. Fucking finally, I never thought I'd be so happy to see Chris in the fucking story. At least I know what he's about. No, I can perform a, a reasonable accent for him that, can, that I can maintain for more than two seconds. Alright, okay. End of flashback. You, what? Oh no, okay, fine, sorry, I, I skipped a little bit there. It says flashback first, okay. Okay, 
The Chris asked, running towards Lynn. Flashback. They're going to kiss. Chris whispered to Martha and Roy behind some bushes. Boot to the head! It's a boot time. Roy yelled inside his mind, throwing the boot at high speed towards Hector's face. End of flashback. Unfortunately, it seems that Hector suffered the commonly and sudden attack of a boot to the head. Um, who are you? <laughs> no, that's the same as Roy. Who are you? Lynn asked in shock. And who's the girl? Sarah asked, pointing at... I'm not a girl, Marth protested angrily. You're wearing a tiara, Nancy boy! Fuck! Or a channel of Chris. Get a hold of yourself, for fuck's sake. Stop calling people Nancy boys. That's not okay. What the fuck? Alright. You're wearing a tiara, Nancy boy! That is a... Um, I ask again, Lynn demanded, pointing her sword at them. Who are you? Um, well, I'm Chris, Chris said, raising his hand. Um, I'm Chris, Chris said, raising his hand. This is Marth, he said, pointing at Marth. And this is... Alleywood, Lynn's group said, surprised. I'm not me father. Roy's mouth was blocked by Marth. And... Um, Hold on. Um, excuse me, Urk said. He's Roy, Chris said, sweating. Wow, he looks like Elliewood to me, Sarah said. We're sorry for throwing that boot to your... Marth looked at the unconscious Hector. Friend. Um, who threw the boot, Guy asked. Roy. And why did you throw... And why did you throw the boot at Hector? <laughs> Lynn asked, putting away her sword. Um, because he was practicing his boot throwing training, Chris said, and everyone stared at him. Florina turned to see Sarah. It's there a training like that? Not sure, Sarah trailed off thinking. Yeah, he's still learning the way of the boot, but he's not expert in throwing the boot at his target. Most of the time he hits me or Marth. Right, Marth? Chris lied and sweated, glancing at Marth. Uh, yes, that is the truth, Marth said, smiling, sweating at the same time. Ellipsis, an awkward moment of silence, came after that. Ahem, Hector, Sarah said, looking at Lynn. Uh, all right, Lynn kneeled to Hector, throwing the boot away. Chris got the boot in the air, and he stored it safely in his inventory. Hector, wake up! Ellipsis. Hector didn't respond. The smoke was still coming from his cheek. Hector, wake up! Ellipsis. No response. Wake the hell up! S Lynn snapped, and Hector suddenly woke up. Um... Wake, Guy thought. Yeah. Sarah thought. Hell, Urk thought. Up, Florina thought. That is new coming from Lynn, Sarah thought. Um, huh, what happened? I don't, okay, let's go with that. Huh, what happened? Hector asked while getting up. Um... You were attacked by Crazy Boots Man over here, S over here, Sarah said, pointing at Roy. Ellie Wood? Hector asked, rubbing his head. Um, he's not Ellie Wood. He is Roy, Urk said. Oh, fucking kill me now. Um, it's weird to meet someone who looks like Ellie Wood now. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Fear the power of the boot-throwing skills of Roy, Hector. Chris thought sarcastically. Is there some kind of... Sorry, no. It's there some kind of tent to tend Hector's injury? It's not so bad, really, Hector said. But the smoke is still... But the smoke is still coming from his cheek, Florina thought. Say, are you swordsmans, by the way? Guy asked while glancing at the swords of Roy's group. Yes, he is the protagonist of this arc. It's really great writing when you have to clarify that. No, it's fine. 
Good on Aura Channel, Chris. Yeah, you, yeah. Woohoo!